This video walks through a visualization project for the Women Writers Online Collection, which is a digital archive of 401 texts by women writers over the span of several centuries. The archive includes metadata on each text, as well as elements encoded within the texts. This project visualizes the text collection framed around the genre and three in-text elements we selected, which are person names, organization names, and place names. We focus on one element at a time with buttons to select the particular element. Below the buttons are the three components of the visualization. The first component on the left is a variation of a scatter plot and shows each text in the collection by the date they were published, categorized by their genre. Their circle is filled in if the text includes one of the collection's most frequent element values that's displayed in the bipartite network in the center. The bipartite network displays the connections between the most frequent element values, in this case person names, in the text collection and the main genre of the text they reside in. For every text a person name is included in, there exists a link from the element name to the genre of the text. The third component on the right is a list of texts that include one of the most frequent person names. This list corresponds to the filled in circles in the scatter plot. The main genre of the text is color encoded and is consistent across the three components. Each component in the visualization has mouse over functionality which highlights corresponding information from the coordinated components. If we hover over one of the texts in the list, for instance this first text titled A Bold Stroke for a Husband, the text circle in the scatter plot is highlighted along with the top person names that the text includes which in this case is Caesar and Venus. Note that these names may not be the only person names that this text includes, but they are the only two are the most frequently occurring names in the collection. The list incorporates additional functionality for users that have subscribed access to the text collection, in which they can click on the text and be directed to the Women Writers Online website that houses the complete digitized text. The scatter plot has the same mouse over functionality as the text list. By hovering over one of the filled circles, you can see the corresponding information for that text across the three views. Hovering over a circle or a text in the list highlights information for a single text. The mouse over capabilities for the bipartite network operate in a similar way, but for multiple texts. For instance, if I hover over the most frequently occurring person, Jesus Christ, I can see all the texts that include that name, which are mostly texts categorized as nonfiction or verse. Similarly, if I hover over one of the genre types, let's say drama prose, I can see all the top names included in that genre and the text it represents in the scatter plot and list views. For these network interactions, the text list filters to correspond to the text identified in that selection. The filter is removed once I no longer hover over one of the texts in the network. This view focuses on person names. However, by clicking on one of the other buttons, we can highlight a different element in the collection. By clicking on organization names, you'll notice that the bipartite network redraws to visualize the most frequently mentioned organization names in the collection. More subtle update are the filled in circles in the scatter plot as well as the list of text on the right. For example, you may notice that there's less text that include one of the most frequently occurring organization names in comparison to those for person names. Below the visualization, there is additional information about the project, including information about the designers, the class the visualization was created in, the interaction capabilities of the visualization, related methodology, and links to the Women Writers Online website, subscription and access, and the TEI documentation. 